It's Juanita from Emotion, and today's word tip is how to convert text to a table. It's easy, and it works in Word 2003 and 2007. It's so important that you learn Microsoft Word, not only for its rich features and capabilities, but also because it makes you a more skilled Outlook user. As you know, Word is the default editor in Outlook. Therefore, all of the word tricks you know and use can be done in Outlook. The tip I'll show you now in Word can be done in Outlook, and I'll show you how in both places. Let's go. I have Word open with four lines of text. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this text. I'm going to go up to the Insert tab, select Table, Convert Text to Table, and now Word automatically senses that I have four rows and two columns worth of information. Under Auto Fit Behavior, I can select Fixed Column Width, Automatic, or I can select Auto Fit to Contents. That's going to give me a nice little small but neat box. And I'm going to separate text at, in my example, I have commas, but you can have, you can separate text at paragraphs or tabs or select the option here commas is what I have in my situation. So I'll say okay. Now watch what happens. And there we go. We now have a table. And if we want to choose different color for our table, we certainly can do that. Now, knowing that we can do this in Microsoft Word, let's see what happens when we go to Outlook. Let's open this email that I have. And we want to forward this email on, but we want it in a more reader-friendly format. This example came from a real estate agent who told me that she gets this information all the time and she wants to put this information in a table format, just so it's easier to read before she forwards it to the person who needs it. So let's do that. Now, you can see in Outlook, select that text, insert tab, table, Convert text to table. Same parameters that we had with Word. Say OK. Actually, we're going to make it an auto fit to contents. And there we go. The same idea we had. I sure hope this tip helps, and we hope to see you in class on Monday.